Welcome back to this historic try series between India, Australia and England. This is the big one against Australia. This is also the tough one. We won the toss and we are going to bat once again. Hopefully we can repeat what we did last time that is score somewhat of a good total 315 I think we scored and then our bowling attack just ran through England. But this is Australia so and it is in Australia as well so this is going to be a slightly tougher matchup than the last one. Stark with the new ball first delivery and he starts off full and gets the outside edge as well but I think it was a bump ball or oh, that was an intense start quick full. We are going to have to play very early because he is very very quick. And now drags the length back but I'm still somewhat late. He is gonna bowl that full in swing at any time. There we go. I think that was an in swinger and it was very full. I was ready to flick anything on the pads on the middle stump and we will get our first run right there. This field is actually pretty good because he's gonna bowl very straight and full. I'm gonna try to play straight. And this time an inside out drive, ideal timing but that ball is not going anywhere. Full punch this time, a little better timing, Cummins is quick as well. So yeah, good timing means we'll get 4 runs first boundary of the day. And we still haven't even lost a wicket, this is actually an excellent start. Fall outside edge and flies away for four. That was pretty close there because they have a lot of fielders behind the stumps but it goes in between every single one of them. Quick, a little bit of an inside edge, they are appealing for god knows what. 3.518 for no loss, our run rate is decent, haven't lost a wicket, that ball has flown. But I mean that fielder also flew, I mean he was in the air for a good second there and has caught it. That flew off the face of the edge actually and then look at this for a catch one handed. We lose our first wicket, got a little too greedy. Shot cut this time off the back foot, I haven't timed it. But the thing is he is very very fast so shots behind the stumps will fly away and it is a free hit as well. And why is Stark's stamina so low? Punched off the back for that will be for that was a gift. I mean he is almost entirely done as far as stamina goes and he's bowled only 2 overs. Flick very very fine, the keeper is gonna run behind it and I think we should be able to get to. And look at that, even with the keeping gloves he throws a perfect throw there. Shot once again open the face, why am I playing this shot, I mean I wanted to play a somewhat cut. What are they even doing? They are playing ping pong with the ball and we'll sneak two runs. Zampa starts off with a googly spin in the 7th over. This pitch is slightly worn out, it is gonna turn and they have 2 spinners on top of it. 5.68, this has been a really good start, only 1 wicket gone. If we can keep this going, we might end up with a score bigger than last time. What was that? That was a gift there, absolutely awful ball and I hit it straight to the man. Try to hit it, he gave me room but I play and miss. 5 dot balls in this over. Shot, open the face once again and we will get one run off that over. They are squeezing us from both ends. Zampai is turning the ball square. Even we have two good spinners, two leg spinners actually, played off the back foot, I think this is what I have to do for the next 40 overs, play on the back foot, again spin every time. Flighted up, that was a knee high full toss, how in the world do you edge that ball and how does it go for 4? I mean, laws of physics and this game just do not go together. 
Oh, that is a beauty pitches on leg stump and he's coming from around the wicket. This time he does get the outside as that ball took forever. Such a slow delivery, so much turn. All he could do is get the edge, I mean, lose our second one here. Now the field is spread open, beautifully ball again. He gets the outside edge with the ball that comes in. Spin on both ends, this is turning out to be a nightmare here. Run rate has dropped below 4, at one point it was almost at 6. And even runs I'm getting now are coming of edges. There we go, finally off the middle, timed well. I don't think that has happened in the last 3 or 4 overs. Why did I even try to play that? I thought the ball would spin too much and get my leg stump. Full, there was a gap straight and he gave me a full toss. I haven't done a great job timing it. Didn't run until the last second. I for sure thought I'd look like an idiot after not running and the field would stop it and I would not even be able to run a single. Now he's too quick. Quick again, gets the outside edge, this should be further because this was a proper arm ball. Well, at least we are getting some runs by luck. Again spin, that's the only way we have been getting runs. Full edged star, just a little too quick, I was just a fraction too late and we lose another one. It's like every 5 overs we lose a wicket. Half volley as well and the man that made a 100 last match has got to go and we might be in some trouble now. Full went for a lofted shot, wanted to play it much finer, thankfully doesn't carry that. Well, scoring has been very very hard in the last 5 overs I'd say. Now there is a gap in front of the wicket, come on give me something full, he goes short, I go with a loft hit shot and I do not think you can time a ball worse than that. Full edge this time, a thicker edge, so it goes away from the keeper, lucky for us, we are almost at a hundred and even with our intense struggle we still only have lost three wickets. Another lofted shot attempt, another one that doesn't work. Full, another outside edge. And that will be four as well, they need at least two slips. They'll not only get more wickets, they'll stop at least five boundaries. And another outside edge, and that's four as well. Well, don't change the feel now. We aren't getting anything off the middle of the bat. And another outside edge, but luck only runs for so long. This time, it goes straight to him. I don't think he even moved a lot. Edge, thick edge, flies away, but he takes it comfortably. Another one gone. Whoa, went for a flick, leading edge that goes over the 30 yard circle. Punched off the back foot, it is in the gap, front foot drives have been very very risky here because we've been edging everything, tried something different and it has worked, punched off the back foot and 4, look at that foot placement. Ball rolls back, almost an LBW there as well. We have to build this partnership for a little while longer, I think I'd love to be at around 200 for 4. In the 35th or 36th over, that would be great, but we cannot lose any more because Punch down the ground, in the air, but of course it doesn't go anywhere. Giant Australian grounds means we can also run a lot of runs. Short, try to tap it on its way and get 4, doesn't work. Short, well we have gotten a lot of runs with this shot in this match and it has worked about 90% of the time once or twice it is gonna get you out but went for a flick another leading edge this time goes straight down just a single 
I mean, if this is a big partnership, I think we can accelerate in the end. But if we start, if we lose another two wickets, we do not have any more batsmen left. Another attempted glide goes towards the leg, sli leg slip region. How many runs have we gotten off edges in these two matches? The two Mumbai Indians players at the crease. I mean, everyone else has failed so far. 30 overs, 140 almost. Oh boy. Mitch, Mitchell Marsh bowls a ball like that, knocks the leg stump over completely. That was like a punch from Mike Tyson, that leg stump is done. And we lose our captain and our last batsman. Now we are in deep, deep trouble. Well, we have more than 20 overs to go, we are truly done. And for the flick, lofted flick actually, what am I even thinking? Usually we should be able to double the score from the 30th over, but I don't know if it's possible this time. With only 5 wickets in hand and only 1 batsman left, that is at least a free hit. Come on. I'm gonna try to go straight. Inside edge. Ideal timing still edge the ball. Shot. Another tap. Oh, what was that? How is he bowling so slow and why does it get me out every single time? If he bowls at normal speeds, we will be okay. But as soon as he changes the pace, we are done. Pumra comes in. Only 4 wickets left. Another 18 overs to go. We at least need 250. I don't know where it's gonna come from. Another one gone. Well, Zampa is on a hat-trick. We are once again getting completely dominated by spin. I think they still have at least 6 or 7 overs between them, between the two spinners. So this is going to be really annoying. I don't think I'm going to even get to the 40th over now. Shami comes in. Hat-trick ball. Come on, block it by any means. Fall. Oh, that was a good ball. That was a good ball. Even with all the wickets falling, we have managed to keep or score. Wow. This was just too quick, too full to play on the back foot. Inside as this time, one second, so very slow. Stoss the ball up, that was in the arc man, that was full wide, that deserved to be hit for four. Instead I edge it and get barely two runs. We need at least another 90 runs minimum. Why is that not out? Shot, look at that pull. That one-legged pull, one leg on his hips, pulled as if he's a fast bowler. I've taken the risk, timed it only somewhat okay, but the placement helps us. That'll be four, we need to be a little bit more aggressive because at any time we can get all out, I feel. Outside edge and that's in the gap as well. That will be four as how many edges are going to be are going to go in our way. Short punch down but that has been timed really really well. But the fielder does stop it though. And Pandya will get to 50 or 59 our only saving grace so far. Full, look at that awful timing again, but the thing is, you just cannot have any fielders that straight down the ground. Full, that's been hit down the ground again. Much better timing than the last time. The result will be the same. Come on, I have to time it perfectly and get a few sixes. Oh, that has been timed, man. That has come out of the middle of the bat. Ideal timing. Absolutely middle. And he gave me a full toss. So that was a bonus. Come on, a few more of those and we'll be at somewhat of a respectable total. Another full toss and we are finally starting to time the ball really well. And it's also helping. They are bowling really, really awful deliveries now. And look at where I'm standing. Another full toss. This time all three ideals and another six. Good hit and that is the 50 run partnership I think. Full this time only good timing though. Another full toss. That should have been six as well. 
Shot punched off the back foot and just enough timing to clear the infield. And I think we are... We have already scored somewhat of a good total but another 20-30 runs will be awesome now. 5 overs, 40 runs will be great. Cut. I wanted to play a glide. He plays a cut. And it goes in between everyone. I don't even know how. Full toss. That was very full. Why are they giving me so many full tosses? And I think that will be 100 for Pandya as well. Of 87 balls, that strike rate is just awesome. One man has scored half the number of runs. That's how well we batted. Another full delivery and because I'm standing so far down the pitch, a half volley gets turned into a full toss and gets sent out of the ground. Another 3 overs left. Stark has been very expensive. He has been giving me gift after gift. Another one, but where's the timing on that? He'll get 4, but come on, that ball deserved 6. That ball deserved 100 meter 6. I think they're going for Yorkers. I think that's their plan, but because I'm standing so far out, it is getting turned into full tosses. Now the run rate is at 5.23, we've almost made it to 250, who knows we might end up with 300, another ideal time shot. Too quick, Siraj has been on one end, blocking and blocking. Full toss, a little too late but that's flashed. Try to hit that ball as hard as possible and even an edge just flows away, that was 150 k's as well. Another full toss, inside edge, back on, but this partnership will continue. Shot. Oh, this shot has worked every single time, hasn't it? Poor footwork. What do you want me to do? Play that ball on the front foot? Four balls left. Another 14 runs and we'll be at 280. And I think we were 150 for 9. This has been a great recovery. And that is just all genius, man. Why bother playing shots with all that power and energy? Just place your bat and find the gap. Three balls left. Come on, one of these three balls has got to go out of the ground at least. He bowls a good length delivery and look at how far that ball went. That's what happens when they bowl normal deliveries. Two balls left. Come on, one full toss or maybe a short delivery. Nope, I think I want a full toss. He's gonna bowl full but that was also express. I don't think that is out but this last over is not going well. We have managed to score 8 but can we make it 14? Come on, let's end it on a high note with a nice giant hit. Ball short, open the face again. But this time it goes to the fielder, only 2, so 10 runs of the last over still. I think we were at 150 for 9, but we made it to 270 thanks to that one-man partnership. One batsman scored 5 runs and the other scored what? I think 110 runs. 50 overs, 272, will it be enough? I don't think so actually. Even though last time we got England all out for what, 150 or something. I don't think that can be replicated. Let's see, Bumra first delivery, we have a slip. And middles it, first delivery, that's not great signs for us. Another shot off the middle of the bat, but no runs. This has been a great start, 5 deliveries, not a single run. Even though he has middled every single one of them. This time he middles it and finds the gap. I think that will be 4. Still not bad at all. 4 runs of the first over. He's gone for it. In the air. No timing on it. And I don't even know what he was thinking. I did have a deep extra cover fielder. Full toss. Got a little too greedy. Went for that magic ball. And a juicy full toss it was. But he edges it for some reason. Cut. He smacked that ball back into the ground. That ball bounced, went away. And another boundary behind square on the offside. Look at that pitch. It can just crumble anytime. 
goes for it aerial doesn't get any elevation but lucky for him it goes in the gap come on we need a breakthrough we do not have that high of a score 270 if they do not lose wickets will be done another full toss that gets the outside edge walks across flex said yeah power play just pick it over the fielder's head even ordinary timing and it will fly away come on we need a wicket they are almost scoring at 5 runs and over they have 10 wickets in hand and in 2020 4273 is chase in t20 matches maybe they do want to chase this town in 20 overs that's how they're going now suddenly boundaries from everywhere another cut this time in front of square but yeah the result is going to be once again the same goes for a pole that goes to long on where is he running he's running in the opposite direction i don't know what he was doing in the end inside edge why isn't that fielder not moving he did not move until the last possible second 50 partnership comes up well i will have to just go with spin in the ninth over spin did work for them let's see if it works for us good start i'm going to try to bowl a little bit fuller try to spin it a little bit more toss up got the outside edge i mean that was almost the same type of dismissal that we got so many times in the last match full wide tries to smack it away for six gets the outside edge and an impossible catch taken once again and yeah, the scoring at more than the required run rate which is not surprising but they are not happy still comes down why do you want to hit it there only two fielders are in the deep and he hits it straight to one of them Sometimes the AI in this game can just be genius is sweep yeah play shots like that and play it in the gap and our fielders of course are not going to stop it once again starter step he was like a middle aged uncle who was running behind a ball that's how coordinated he looked oh, that might be the shot of their inning so far just pick clean that looked like it was sailing for six but these grounds are not small by any means again full and wide that seems to be a very very reliant technique just bowl there and you'll get the outside edge and make sure to have a slip fielder swept and swept away from everyone one is still going strong he's scoring in more than a strike rate of 100 comes down he really seems to love this shot it hasn't worked for the ai at all but he just keeps playing it again and again goes for the flick good googly man could have got the middle stump there flight it up and it was wide but this time it comes up the middle a miss field comes down once again and it misses the leg stump by about 3 inches full toss if you get out on a ball like that i mean you are going straight into depression that is as loose as a delivery can get and he gets the inside and get himself pulled or oh, that might be close height is the only issue the umpire doesn't think so well we brought in siraj and we'll get the wicket of the very first over i think please do not review it they don't review it let's see Well, wow, that is just gone. Fight it up! Another full toss is that out? Did it come off the boot? Again, that same ball. This time, just bounces a little bit more, and it'll be not out. Full. Whoa! Where did that come from? That was an absolute peach. Shapes in, then pitches. and moves out and almost takes outside it and the off stump middle can he come around oh he does how does that happen full hasn't timed it well 
but he gets just enough this partnership really amazing a proper one day partnership they've been defending and defending taking singles and a few boundaries here and there come on ok goes right in between those two fielders comes down oh stop appealing and kaya get the stumping that shot wide and cut loose delivery that did deserve for especially with no third man as well look at this partnership 32 of 49 they've been very slow but valuable runs and suddenly it looked like australia very close to the target if it keeps going like this so we need wickets the run rate is not going to get out of hand anytime soon tosses it up come on where is this coming from suddenly they've decided they need some boundaries even though the required run rate isn't really that high labuskagni outside edge that would have gone straight into gully's lamp but this is a limited overs match we only have 11 fielders and that's just not going to work hits it down and once again just enough to clear the 30 yard circle but not enough to go for six missed time shots but in the gap that's what they've been doing for the last 10 overs comes down and manages to drag a proper test match wide and brings the ball back right on to the middle stump that is a skill on its own and finally we get a wicket and i think they should be it they have i think one maybe two all rounders look at that that was a proper wide test match wide in fact and another outside edge green goes why aren't any one appealing why isn't any word appealing almost let that one go because we forgot to appeal well even we are on a hat trick right now and in one over it's almost looking like the game is done astanegar come on hat trick paul spin it give it a proper rip Oh come on <laughs> spun it too much waits and waits and edges it come on one batsman left can he is left there in almost a very similar position but we had lost 9 wickets they've only lost 6 so i think they're still ahead oh how close was that you yeah, now we are bowling really really slowly bat on to the pad pops up just enough for the keeper to come around ashtonegar goes as well another all rounder gone and now what we have one bowling all rounder if you can call come and stand but we are so very close to victory hits it in the air a little better time and of course it is in between every single fielder there why are they even playing these shots they can easily win it if they play proper cricket ones and twos and one or two boundaries here and there and they would have chased it down goes for a pull of a good length till every almost gets himself out in the dumbest possible way that's been hit down the ground once again just enough to clear mid off another one are they really going to pull it off from here punched off the back foot 99 record of 78 that's been slapped once again i mean for i don't know the 50th time everything the ball goes right in between two fielders and play at a miss this partnership is growing slowly but steadily as well they still only need to score at a run rate of 8.5 but the thing is they only have 3 wickets carry gets his 50 of 70 is he going to pull it off another shot very very straight and that will be for i mean maybe i can have a straight off but slaps it i think he's decided no matter where i bowl full shot he's just going to hit it down the ground that fielder did run fast for once in 50 overs one fielder runs like a normal human being oh whoa, what was that where did that ball go 
I think it went in between his legs or maybe in between the bat or oh, it went between everything. Oh, he might actually do it. Carry single handedly well. Cummins is giving him good support as well, but we look like we had already won the match, but now not so much. And now they're playing a miss. Come on, get the outside at once. Carry playing like Michael Bevan here. Standing and somehow if he pulls this off, it is going to be really annoying. And all three teams will have one wins each. Slapped. Come on, come around. Stop it. Maybe two. Oh, wonderful. Leading edge and a taunt ball. Two overs left. 21 needed. But both of them have run so much. Look at their, their stamina bus. Inside edge. Good. Well done. Well done. Nine balls left, 20 runs required. Goes inside out, gets the outside edge. <laughs> 16 of 8 and what 100 run partnership or whatever. Misses it completely but they'll still sneak through for a run. 14 required of the last over. We have a third man for those thick edges. Good start, just a single and Cummins is on strike now. Who's almost completely done. Look at his stamina. He is as tight as you can get on a cricket pitch. The ball is not going to go anywhere. Carey's got to be the one to do it. Oh boy, he's now back on strike. But still now, 4 deliveries, 12 runs, 1 dot ball. And I think we have it right here. Full toss. Come around and stop it for once. Come on. Oh, well done. He doesn't even get up like a human being. He gets up. 10 required of 3. Cummins is almost going to faint in the middle of the ground. Again, they just do not have anything left. They've been running and running for 20 overs. Cummins is going to be on strike. 2 balls 9, a boundary required. And he gets a leading edge and we have done it somehow pulled it back just two overs ago the match was looking like it was completely lost but we have come back not an overall not a wide just a single and we we'll win this by eight runs that was a really really amazing comeback Kuldeep Yadav will get two fifers in two consecutive matches and the man has just spun us into the finals and Australia are not even in the finals. That is a first. India versus England is going to be the final of this tri series. But still, I think Pandya should have been the man of the match. 134 was the only reason we got anywhere near 272. The man has scored half the number of runs. Well, if you want to see another intense battle between Australia and India, click the video on screen. For now, like, comment, and subscribe for more Cricket 24 videos and updates. Thanks for watching and have a great day wherever you are.